Did you notice something different about the music this morning? <laughs> our own musicians from our membership. So uh, Barbara, Inez, and Ellen, thank you so very much. Okay, so we've had some people who have come in since our welcome. So my name is Ann Clayson. I'm one of the leaders here. Um, and we have Intergenerational Winter Festival. So please do let folks know that you're here um, with your social media devices. But if you could silence them now, because we're going to tell a wonderful, wonderful story. And I think many of you may know this already. Uh, Leo Leone is a favorite among parents and children. And this story is called Frederick. Frederick. And so we're going to be um, acting and singing and performing music along with this. So um, a couple of people I want to introduce to you so that you can keep track of the story is that I will be the narrator and Richard, no, not Richard, Jesus. Jesus is Frederick. And you can tell that because Frederick is a mouse. <laughs> hey, and our musicians will be performing as well. An inspiring so, mouse. Yes, a very inspiring mouse. Um, and so our, our children are both children and mice. So you have to use your imaginations a little bit. And at different times, they're also going to be the sun and colors and words. So I invite you now to settle in and hmm, make yourselves open to the magic, the mystery of storytelling. And this is Frederick. Do you, do you start? along the meadow where the cows grazed and the horses ran there was an old stone wall in that wall not far from the barn and the granary a chatty family of field mice had their home but the farmers had moved away the barn was abandoned and the granary stood empty Are 
And since winter was not far off, the little mice began to gather corn and nuts and wheat and straw. They all worked day and night, except Frederick. Frederick, why don't you work? They asked. I do. I gather sun rays for the cold, dark winter days. And when they saw Frederick sitting there, staring at the meadow, they said, And now, Frederick? <laughs> I gather corn, for winter is great. And once Frederick seemed half asleep. Are you dreaming, Frederick? They asked reproachfully. Oh, no. I'm gathering work for the winter days are long and many, and we will run out of things to say. The winter days came, and when the first snow fell, the five little field mice took to their hideout in the stones. In the beginning, there was lots to eat, and the mice told stories of foolish foxes and, and silly cats. They were a happy family. But little by little, they had nibbled up most of the nuts and berries. The straw was gone, and the corn was only a memory. It was cold in the wall, and no one felt like chatting. It felt eerie and spooky, and one little mouse spoke up. Hi, trees. You are part of nature. I like the way you look. I like it when your leaves are green. It's not fun when your leaves fall. When you don't have leaves, you look a little spooky, eerie. It reminds me of Halloween and Christmas. But I like Christmas. Trees, thank you for giving us oxygen. Then they remembered what Frederick had said about the sun, about the sun and its rays, and the colors and the words. What about your supplies, Frederick? They asked. Close your eyes. Now I send you the rays of the sun. Do you feel their golden glow? And as Frederick spoke of the sun, the four little mice began to feel warmer. Was it Frederick's voice? Was it magic? And, and how about the colors, Frederick? They asked. Close your eyes again. And when he told them of the blue periwinkles, the red poppies and the yellow wheat, and the green leaves of the berry bush, they saw the colors as clearly as if they had been painted in their minds. the colors. <laughs> and, and the words, Frederick? Do you have words for us, Frederick?
who scatters the snowflakes? Who melts the ice? Who spoils the weather? Who makes it nice? Who grow, grows the four leaf clovers in June? Who leaves the daylight? Who lights the moon? Four little field mice live in the sky. Four little field mice, like you and I. One is the spring mouse who turns on the shower. Then has the summer who paints in the flowers. The fall mouse is next with wild ants and wheat, and winter is last with little cold feet. Aren't we lucky the seasons are poor? Think of a year with one less. Or one more. <laughs> we offer thanks to all the seasons in the natural world. Thank you to all the animals, for you give up your meat so we can eat. Thank you, plants. You give us your vegetation to give us food. Thank you, herbs. You heal us. Thank you, sun. You give us your light. Thank you, moon. You give us your moonlight. Thank you, water, rain, lakes, oceans, and others we haven't mentioned here. Now our minds are one. But Frederick, but Frederick, they all said, you are a poet. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> assure the children, why don't we assure the children that we will too? So let's respond. We will do the best we can. And we will do the best we can. Thank you. Thank you. 
That is our winter festival.